Okay. In the heat of the moment, I wrote something foolish. Not to mention lying to us. You guys, you don't know Andrea. She got crazy. She scared me. But you're still saying you didn't see her at the party and you know nothing about the rape? Like I told you. Why don't you talk to her? This is a girl you wanted to marry. She gets raped. You don't even call to see how she is. They said it would be better if I didn't. They? Ted, Joel, all the officers. As vice president, uh, I warned Gary. These allegations uh, could damage the paternity. You warned him not to speak to Andrea? Well, we were told it's better if there's no contact between any house members and Andrea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gary's a pledge, so that, that applies to him, too. Hey, we're glad to cooperate. But we were also told, since Joel and I are mentioned by name, that we shouldn't talk to you without counsel present. That's your legal right. We're sorry about Andrea. It's just, well, we wish she wouldn't have fantasies on our premises. On your premises? I thought she wasn't here that night. Just to double check, none of you went upstairs for even a few minutes the entire night, right? Oh. Did someone mention the word cooperation? Try different questions. Maybe we try different people. You have the list of your party guests and your employees for that party? We'd be glad to get you one. Well, but there's always crashes. Yeah, from on and off campus. Hey, if there really was a rape, it could have been anyone. Okay, the boyfriend did lie. That kid knows something. I think what he knows is how to take orders from his upperclassmen and keep his mouth shut. Six-hour party. Nobody sees anybody go upstairs. Nobody goes upstairs himself. Yeah, right, like they don't serve liquor to minors. What, a misdemeanor charge? You think that's gonna crack the wall of silence? All right, we got 70, 80 names here. Probably take us right up to retirement. I would start with anybody who isn't, wasn't, and never will be a member of that fraternity. Maybe she wasn't there. We get one more no, you gotta think everybody was as drunk as she was. Who's next? Sorry, I might have served her, but there were at least 100 kids there. He must have some eyesight, huh? I can't help you. Hey, listen, come here. You think you served any underage kids there? Oh, come on. Maybe we could find a few. All right, listen, I'll level with you. I did two years hard time, and I'm almost off parole. Working parties and bartending is a no-no. Cool it, we're not the parole division. All right. Well, Pigtail's had on the wrong costume. She looked like a little girl, but she can drink like a sand dune. How much? Eight or 10 shots easy. Yeah, enough to put me into a long dream. Anybody follow her, you know, go upstairs? Well, I was tracking her. I thought she might be my score for the night, but she staggered out with some guy. That was the last I saw of her. Would you recognize this guy if you saw him again? Now, too dark. His mask was half off his face, some costume. What kind of costume? An animal? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What kind of animal? <laughs> Sorry. It had big ears. If that's any help. At least we know she was there. Oh, yeah, with an animal that has big ears. Where does that get us? Two steps ahead of where we were yesterday. With still no corroboration. Oh, gee, Mike, why don't we just quit? Next up, Gail, Stuart Carradine, grad students. Good. Very good. Well, we were only there for half an hour. We're not, uh, my wife and I aren't really party people, so. So nothing strange happened? Um, it was Halloween. It, it, but uh, rape, no. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> May I have some water? Sure. <coughs> <coughs> Must be something in the air. I feel like I'm swallowing ashes. It doesn't take Sigmund Freud to see that you're nervous, Gail. Can you believe it? I was a ballerina. I felt ridiculous. I didn't even want to go. And all those TPs act like they own the world. Stuart used to be president. I thought he had outgrown all that crap. We went upstairs. I went to the bathroom. What the hell are you doing? What are you telling them? Just what I saw. It's none of their business. This is rape, not a college prank. 
Go ahead. This is our business. I came out of the bathroom and I saw two guys on the stairs. And one of them said, come on, she's there. Let's go, let's go. That, that could have meant anything. And you can't be sure who because it was dark. I'm sure, Stuart. One of them was Joel Holder. Yeah, well, it's a mistake. Or, or, or it's, it's a lie. Hey, look, it, could, it couldn't have been me, all right? I'm sure it is a mistake, Joel. Why don't you uh, clear it up? Yeah, well, just get a blood test. It'll show that you didn't have sex with a girl. Okay. Okay, all right. No, no problem. We got a deal. When? Oh, this is heavy. They say somebody saw me upstairs. No way. We were with them all night. Oh, yeah? Well, Joel here is going to take a blood test and we'll get this over with. Nobody's taking any blood test. We're calling our lawyers. Fine. 